Hey guys, um, stay tuned. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the antique mall and um, what I liked about certain booths. All right, guys, I'm at my next stop. Here. This is my big news. We got a large space in the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. And I'm going to take you inside and hopefully be able to show you what will be our booth space on October the 1st. Here's the space that is going to be our. It's a big booth. It has ability to hang, which is awesome. It's super tall, so we can hang windows from up above. Awesome. But it's yellow. I'm not a big fan. There's a power strip. And then there's power up here. There's the floor. So this booth looks a bit cluttered, but I wanted to show the background in the you know, with the wood wall. Kind of like the rusticness of this distressed, aged looking wall background. This was surprising. I think this was a paper background that I wrapped around cardboard and attached. Ugh. This is our booth. It's yellow and it needs a lot of work. Probably gonna spend a pretty penny just to get it ready to display. This booth was really dark, but I wanted to show that the top shelving and how much stuff they could fit up there. Okay, really, really like that. There's nothing hardly in the booth, but I love that metal look. It was nice for what she had going on. I don't think it would work for us, but I did think it was really nice and I wanted to document it. Talking some serious bucks for the background they got going on here, but boy, does it look nice. Another look at our booth um, with the yellow and then down the aisle. Here's another look at a different, it looks like almost like a beadboard background. This one's really nice too. Love this, but this is also kind of a high dollar background. This is another booth, same type of background, expensive. That wood would be really expensive to do such a large booth. Now this is pink. We're talking some Pepto-Bismol here. Not for us. Okay, I just did a, f I did a photo of this because I really like the signs and I wanted Honey to see them. Admit. I really like the lace background. Um, I want to do some lace in the booth. We'll see how we can incorporate it. Honey wants to start doing some of these lamps um, over the winter. So I did a video or a photo of this one to show him. Okay, I like this booth. I like that Hoosier hutch. I like how it's full, but too clustered for us. This I wanted to show up above how they did the... I don't know, the stuff they can hang. I like that up at the top. Similar, they just don't have anything hanging. <laughs> this I really liked. It was kind of an end cap, but that looks really, really nice. This was just another option. These, This worked out for these people and what they have to sell, but not for us. I just did this photo to show all the stuff they have at the top and how we can utilize even the top. Really like this booth. Really like it. Love the bicycle hanging. Just love this booth. This is really nice also. I like that thing they have at the top, how it look, looks architectural, <laughs> if that's a word. This is really nice, rustic. 
perfect for this guy's booth, um, but not quite for us. Really like this. I know it's like out of the question, but I like it. It looks cute. This again, I was showing how they were utilizing the top space and how it brings people into the booth. Okay, this is the other end of the booth. Um, just showing again the chandeliers and the electrical. Once again, this is our space, just showing how they're hanging the chandeliers there and how structurally sound it is. I thought this was a really cool piece. I wanted to do a photo to show Honey how he could build that. <laughs> this is one of the very first booths as you walk in and it is amazing, amazing. I love it. Okay, another view of the same booth. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is the last photo. Catch you later. Bye, guys.